mean it didn't help. So you need to remind that the ending and how you finish your Hajj and complete that is what's going to be important. Now, if Allah has all these days and times, months, prophets selected, you need to realize, my brothers and sisters, that Allah has chosen you and favored you and selected you amongst the seven and a half billion people of this earth to be of the chosen ones to be on Hajj. So no matter what happens, no matter how hard things get, no matter how bad the food is, no matter how bad the uh, accommodation is, no matter how much you pay, my nasiha to you tonight is to always remember that you are one of the chosen ones by the Rabb of the world. You are one of the selected ones, one of the favored ones to be selected to go on Hajj and to be present on Arafah on the day of Arafah with the meeting of Allah. If somebody invites you to the house to a dinner and they're the host and you come there and you, you're not happy with the food and you complain to the host and then you're not happy with the seating they give you and you complain to the host, the host will feel upset. So I need you to remember who's the host in Hajj. Allah has invited you. So when you start complaining, you are complaining to the host of the Allah who has invited you there. So that is the way you need to consider when you walk and talk, when you're going and things get tough. And believe me, Hajj is going to be hard. Lack of sleep, walking, and it's going to be hard. There's no doubt about that. It's not going to be easy. But you chose to come for Hajj. You paid. Allah invited you, said, I'm coming. So there's no sense in complaining after you chose to come. But that's what Hajj is for. Prophet <coughs> told Aisha, your reward is equal to your tiredness, the, the, the amount of effort you put into it. So my dear brothers and sisters, remember that when things get tough and when you're doing your Hajj on Arafah day, that you are chosen. And Allah, in, like, unlike Ramadan, where Allah says, look for in the last 10 nights, let it look when Allah comes down and answers your prayer. In Hajj, you don't have to look. Allah told you, ninth of the Hijjah, on Arafah, in a place, you are one out of seven and a half billion people on Arafah chosen to be there. Then Allah says to the angels, Look at my slaves. What do they want? And Allah also said, Prophet said, that on no other day does Allah set more people free from the fire of Jahannam than on this day. And if that's all we will achieve on that day, that we are one of the ones to be selected to be free from the fire of Jahannam, then it is worth every pound you paid for it. Just remember that. Jazakallah khairan. Pray for us in Arafah and pray for the Ummah. It takes one sincere dua to change our situation. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. Only to give me five minutes. I'll see you guys in Mina, inshallah.